So this problem is about a classical experiment called the Millikan oil drop experiment. Definitely recommend that if you haven't heard of it, Google it and check it out. It's a really interesting way to determine the charge of something. And we're going to go through the steps of how to do that. So in this problem, you've got two uniformly charged plates, but oppositely charged. Please assume that this is an, a uniform electric field in here. Um, so you've got a uniform electric field, okay? You know the mass of the, of the charge, it's a charged particle, and you've got the mass is 3.85 times 10 to the negative 21 grams. I always put everything in those standard units, so it's 3.85 times 10 to the negative 24 kilograms. And you know what the magnitude of the electric field is. So we're gonna talk about what happens to a charged particle when it's in a uniform electric field, okay? I start writing things in red here, probably know the charge on the electron, but it's 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. Of course, that's negative. Um, and the question asks, how many electrons are on this charged particle? So the way you think about it is, you know a couple of equations. You know that the force, electric force, is charge times the electric field. And that you also know that the gravitational force is mg. So you balance these two things. The problem actually states that this is suspended. There's a couple of things that you know about it. You know that the field is going downward so that if it's suspended, it has to be negative. That's what that negative sign is. And you know the magnitude of the charge has to be, when you set these two e things equal to each other and solve for q, mg divided by the electric field. So when you put those numbers in, you get that the charge of this particle is negative 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So you know it's two electrons, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool that you can determine the charge of something in this manner, and that's actually what the Millikan oil drop experiment did. So definitely Google that, check it out, and um, continue to think about charges and how they behave in fields.